better part of a dozen years, it soldiered on unchanged. In the automotive world, it was a dinosaur. On this edition of Test Drive, the long, long overdue replacement. This is the all new Ford Escape. Changes to the third generation Escape, which is now based on the Focus platform, transform it so much that the only thing the new model has in common with the old is its name. Everything from the powertrain and advanced all-wheel drive system to the manner in which the cabin cosets its occupants is now radically different. The interior of this Escape has been very well done indeed great materials and if you go with the titanium well and you add a few more options you can get everything except the kitchen sink now on this thing leather seats panoramic moonroof the tech package which gives you among other things blind spot monitoring and a navigation system that puts about forty seven hundred dollars worth of options in here the knee to the nether region thirty dollars for an environmental fee while the base escape arrives with a so-so two and a half litre four cylinder engine, the up-level models earn a choice of two EcoBoost engines, Ford's delightful turbocharged units. The 1.6 litre EcoBoost and its 178 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque is fine. The two litre EcoBoost motor, however, is the motivator of choice. It not only bumps the power to a much more sporty 240, it brings a stout 270 pound-feet of torque. This puts some serious fire under the hood. Part of the reason is the peak torque and the fact it shows up early. The other side boils down to the relative lack of turbo lag. Yes, there is a hint on initial launch, but as soon as the engine hits 1500 RPM, it begins to pull, and strongly so. Believe it or not, there are four different ways of getting into the cargo area. There's a button on the dash, one on the key fob, there's a handle right here. The fourth way, you simply kick under the bumper and it opens the tailgate. Now when it rises up out of the way, you've got 34 cubic feet with the seats up and 68 with them folded flat, which is a lot of space. The other thing I like, behind the passenger seat, there's an underfloor storage bin. When teamed with a six-speed manumatic, the Escape runs from rest to 100 kilometers an hour in 8.1 seconds and manages the more important 80 to 120 passing move in a solid five seconds. If there is a nit, it has to do with the manual side of the automatic transmission. The shifter must be put in the sport position and then the driver can change gears, but only after fighting with a fiddly toggle switch on the side of the shifter. Given the overt sportiness of the Escape, it demands paddle shifters that work regardless of shifter position. This Escape has what Ford call an intelligent all-wheel drive system. By monitoring 25 different inputs, everything from steering, gas pedal and wheel speed, it determines the best way of splitting the power. For example, if you nail the gas pedal on a slippery road, it's already splitting the power 50-50, which minimizes the risk of wheel spin. What makes it all the more remarkable and keeps it invisible to the driver is the fact that it looks at all this data every 16 milliseconds. That is 20 times faster than I can blink. The Escape benefits greatly from its vastly superior platform for many reasons, not the least of which is the blend of ride and handling it allows. The Escape is tight and displayed very little body roll through the pylons. The steering affords great feedback and the P23545R19 tires, along with that all-wheel drive system, push understeer out to the point where it's moot. It also delivers the right highway ride, soaking up the rough stuff without the unseemly jostling so many sporty crossovers force the riders to endure. You know, there is no question that this latest Escape is a very good crossover. Two great EcoBoost engines and a very good all-wheel drive system. You can also have it just about any way you want it, but therein lies the rub. The Escape starts at about $20,000. This puppy sitting right here is over $42,000. I'm sorry, that amount of money is not escaping from my wallet anytime soon. And no, the rain didn't make me crusty. Ow! Ow!